we'll do another example and this one is particularly important because we're dealing with exponentials so here f of t is e to the minus 3t we'll take this function and substitute our def into our definition of the Laplace transform so that gives the following integrate from 0 to infinity e to the minus 3 t e to the minus s t dt we can combine these exponentials as e to the minus plus 3 dt. Well this looks familiar from the previous example we did in terms of a constant so this is just equal to negative 1 over s plus 3 e to the minus s plus 3 evaluated from 0 to infinity. Well in this case when you evaluate the upper limit we have negative 1 over s plus 3 factor it out and then when you put in the upper limit that's just e to the minus infinity minus e to the 0 which is equal to 1 over s plus 3. So the Laplace transform of e to the minus 3t is equal to 1 over s plus 3. Now we can generalize this where we can just say that Laplace transform of e to the at Okay, so a in this case is like negative 3. So therefore that's 1 over s minus a. Where a is minus 3 and we yield the same thing. So this is just a more general case of uh, exponential where you have a as an arbitrary constant.